Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating this cool looking snowfall effect that you can add to your website to add some holiday feel to your pages. It's pretty easy to create and really beginner friendly. It doesn't require any coding skills or any knowledge. Beyond that, that you have about Elementor page builder. So if you're familiar with Elementor, it will be a pretty easy one. Besides Elementor, to create this snowfall effect, we're gonna need the Jet Tricks add-on for Elementor which is a great plugin that can do a lot of things such as complex and flexible parallax, sticky elements and columns, and folding columns, view more break, tooltips, section particles. And actually with the help of section particles, we're gonna be creating the snowfall effect today. And element satellite and the hotspots, and all of these are animated, done with really clean code and fast loading, or super fast loading. And you can get this Jet Tricks add-on for Elementor if you follow the link in the description under this video. Let me switch back to Elementor and show you a couple of preparational steps that you need to do before you start creating your particles. So first go to the section settings or you can also right click on some empty spot and go to edit section. So here you need to enable the stretch section option. And in the content width, choose full width. So your section takes up all the width of your page. And there in the height, you go and choose minimum height. So you can change the height of your section manually. So I actually wanted this section to take up all the width and all the height of this part that the user sees on the screen. And actually, if you scroll down, there's a really great Elementor page template. And you can also learn more about how to get this one for your website if you follow the link in the description under this video. So now still staying in these section settings, go to advanced tab. And once you have installed Jet Tricks plugin, you're gonna have the Jet Tricks tab right here. So you open it and you have one single option in there. It's called enable particles and you enable this option. And what we've got here is the empty field and you don't have to do anything there just yet. And you have a little note, paste your particles, JSON code here, generated from here. And don't be afraid, you will not have to deal with any code because everything is done with this visual and really beginner friendly particle creator. So first off, let me go ahead and switch this card off. So it doesn't distract us from creating particles. And we go to page background and enable the hide card option. There you have the background color property and I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color. And changing the background color in here doesn't affect the background color of the section on your website. You're gonna go and change the background color of your section on your website from your Elementor page builder. I'm changing the color here because I want to see how it's going to look on my website. And let's let's choose the one that is close that is close enough and let's close the page background tab. So, we have the controls in here and everything will be done from this little window. And let's go from bottom to top. And the next tab we have is called interactivity. So we are interested in two tabs in here, on hover and on click, how the particles are going to react to your cursor. Now when you're hovering next to the particles, they kinda, they're kind of pushed away from the cursor. And when I click, you see that, you know, it kind of shoot out from the tip of my cursor. And I don't want my snowflakes to do any of that. So I go to on hover tab and I disable and on click I also disable. So now whatever I do with my cursor, nothing happens to the particles. Next one we go to the particles and the first tab from bottom we have is called move. So there of course we want to enable our particles to move and the direction we're gonna choose bottom so they're falling from top to bottom and We'd also like to randomize them a bit. If you choose this trade option, they're gonna go like in one axis, strictly in Y axis. 
and they're not gonna move to the sides even a bit. You know, if you disable it, they're kind of twirling and it looks more natural. So here you can change the speed. I actually want to crank this up to nine or something. And the out mode, you know, we can also make them bounce from the bottom edge of your screen, but if you want the natural effect, we're gonna choose the out option. Now line linked. Let's disable it because I do not want my snowflakes to be linked to each other. And let's close this tab in the opacity. I like it to be 0.75, like so. And if you enable the random option, it's gonna randomize the opacity of your snowflakes. So we can actually go to 0.9 in here. So if you want the animate the opacity property, you can also do that. But we're not really interested in that for the snowflakes. And here in the size tab, you can change the size of the snowflakes. Now it's set at 3, but you can change it to 2 or maybe 5. But I guess that it's going to look fine at 2. So now in the shape tab, we don't really have to do anything because it's set at circle, that's what we need. In the color it's set to pure white. And in the number, we can actually crank this up to say 800. So we have really a lot of them and it looks like a really heavy snowfall. And there we can actually change this value to 900. So it looks a little more dense. And that's actually pretty good so far. And in the size tab, what I want to do is to check this random option. So it randomizes the size of the snowflakes and it also adds the realism to our snowfall. All right, and in the value 600 is maximum. I see. And actually later, if you're a little more advanced user, you can change that in the fields in the Elementor. All right, uh, we're done in here. We have created our snowfall. Now we need to export it and simply paste it in the Elementor. So what I need to do is to download current configuration in JSON format. So here it goes and you open it with your notepad or any other text editor that you have on your computer and you go back to Elementor and there in the Jet Tricks tab in the particle JSON field you simply paste the code that you have copied from the JSON file. As I've said, if you're a little more advanced user you can go and see all of the properties that you have changed and adjusted there in the particle creator but there they're simply set as property and value property and value so if you want to have even more snowflakes you can change the maximum 600 value to say 1000 or a thousand Alright, so this is pretty much it for this tutorial on how to create a snowfall effect with the help of Elementor Page Builder and Jet Tricks plugin. If you want to learn more about Jet Tricks, follow the link in the description under this video. And if you want to get this really great looking Elementor WordPress theme, just follow the link in the description under this video. And in this tutorial, I've been working with Monstrate to WordPress theme, and you also need to check this out if you want to get all of the Jet plugins, which is more than 10 of them all in one package and dozens of skins that are being constantly updated. So I thank you for watching and I hope you like this video.